Hey guys, it's Albert from Muffin Group. This video is going to be a bit different than usually, as I won't be explaining any features, but instead I would like to show you how to create the same mega menu as on the B Paint Store Preble website we recently added in step by step tutorial. This mega menu will show on Hoover and will be divided to four columns three columns with products listed and fourth column with some extra content. I really hope you're gonna like these types of videos and if you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section. Let's not waste the time on this introduction and let's jump to my screen. The first thing I will do will be adding the menu to my already existing header and for that I will edit the existing template. As I already have header created, I will edit existing one. If you would like to learn more about the header builder, I encourage you to watch the tutorial by clicking the link in the left top corner. Let's get back to the header template editing. And now let's go to appearance menus and let's create a new menu, which for I will assign a mega menu later. Let's create and save the menu and add one of the pages to my menu. And let's now name this menu item our store. Okay, now let's go to templates and edit already existing header template for my header. Now let's add menu item and let's assign categories mega menu I just created to display in this for this menu item. Let's also align it to left and let's set fading up submenu animation as well. Now let's go to the style tab and let's add some styling like the padding. Let's also set the typography to make the font bold. Let's also add the border radius. And let's also set the color for both normal and hoover states. For both, I will set the font color and also the background color. Okay, that's great, looks much better now. Let's now switch to the advanced tab and let's set the custom width for my menu element, which is 190 pixels. And let's also add some styling like margin. Let's now update the template header and let's see if it applies to the front end. As you can see, it works fine and in both states in normal and hoover as well. Okay, so we have our header ready, so I can create mega menu template now. By the way, if you didn't have a chance to watch my tutorial about the Mega Menu Builder, I encourage you to watch tutorial by clicking the link in the left top corner as well. Okay, so let's get back to the Mega Menu creation. Let's get back to the templates now and let's create a template for my Mega Menu. I will name it Mega Menu Template and let's create it. Okay, so right now I'm starting uh, from zero, so you will see how to build the mega menu uh, we've added in the latest pre-built website, B Paint Store. Okay, so let's start creating. Let's add the section and now let's add the wrap. Let's make some adjustments for the section now. Uh, so let's go to the advanced spacing tab and first of all set some spacing like padding Let's now set background color as well and the border radius for better looking. Let's also add some box shadow. So you will see it later how it looks like. Okay, that's great. So we can now start uh, editing our wrap. So the first thing I will do will be decreasing the size as I need four wraps as we need three columns with the products and the last column will be just extra column with the background image and some content inside. So let's decrease or wrap to one fourth size. And let's add the element inside. The first element will be heading. And now I will just set the dynamic data for my title for the heading, which for the first column as the category name for one of the product categories. And in this case, it's primers. 
Okay, and now let's add wrap inside the existing wrap uh, to make it looking the way exactly we need it. Let's now also make some adjustments for the heading because I forgot, so I will make the title tag to H5. To display products in columns, I will be looping by products using Loop Builder. And if you didn't have the chance to watch a tutorial about query loops, I will leave you the link to that tutorial in the left top corner so you can watch it later for better understanding. And now let's enable query loop for the wrap because here I will be looping the products from specific category, in this case primers. So let's set the post type to product and from the categories I will select the primers only. And also let's limit to three products only. Let's now add the icon box as this is gonna be the way how I would like to display the products. And I think the icon box will be a great choice for this one. So for the title, let's set the dynamic title and it's gonna be product title. Let's remove the icon because I don't need it. Let's set the icon position to left and let's also set the image to featured image of my product. And let's now also set the product link for the link. So whenever user click it, he will be redirected to the product page. Just one more thing, I forgot to set the content, so let's also set the price for the content as in this case, I would like to display the image on the left, but on the right side of the icon box, just the product title and the price. Let's now switch the title tab. And for the container, I will set the padding. Let's set the background color to white and the border style to solid. Border color will be kind of gray with a bit of transparency. Let's also set the border width to one pixel and border radius to 12 pixels, except the one border, which I would like to be 24 pixels to make the shape looking great. Let's move to the icon wrapper now and let's set the width for the icon wrapper to 70 pixels and let's also set the image width to 70 pixels as well. Let's move to the title now and let's set the color for our title and let's also set zero pixels for the bottom margin. And now let's switch the description tab and let's set the size for the typography to 0.8. I forgot to set the color for the hoover state for the whole container as well. So let's get back to the container hoover and let's set the background color to the kind of blue. And let's do exactly the same thing for the title. Okay, so the other thing that left is the divider and the kind of the button just underneath the column of products. So let's add the divider now and let's make some adjustments like setting, set the top gap to 16 pixels and the bottom gap 16 pixels as well. Let's now switch to the style tab and set for the divider border width to one and let's also set border color to kind of gray. Let's now switch to the advanced tab and set zero pixels for the bottom margin. And now let's add the icon box again, just underneath, which I will customize to make it look like a button with an arrow. Let's set the title to show products. Let's remove the content as I don't need it here. Let's find the icon. Let's set position for the icon to right. And now set the hoover effect to move box up. Let's now switch to the style tab, an icon wrapper and set width for the icon wrapper to 30 pixels. Let's also set the icon size to 13 and let's set the background color for this icon wrapper to red and let's set the border radius to 100% because I would like to make it a kind of circle. And let's also change the icon color to white because it wasn't visible on the red background color. 
Let's now switch to the title tab and set zero pixels for bottom margin as well. And also let's change the typography a bit to make it a kind of bold. Now let's switch to the advanced tab and let's set width to inline. And now let's edit the wrap. Let's go to the advanced tab and align this, uh, align all the content inside the wrap to the right side. Let's also switch to the spacing tab and set some spacing for better look. Now let's switch to the border tab as I would like to create a kind of vertical line which will be separating uh, the columns. So for that, let's set the border style to solid. The border color will be kind of gray. Let's also set the border with right to one pixels as I want the border to be on the right side only. And now let's switch to the spacing tab of this wrap and let's set the right margin to 20 pixels instead of the left one. As you can see, the wrap looks exactly the way I wanted it to look like. We have the title of the category. We have three products listed with the product title and the price and the button just underneath named show products. And because I don't want to create another wraps exactly the same way because it's gonna be a time wastage. So I will just duplicate this wrap twice and I will make necessary adjustments inside. I forgot to set the link for the show products uh, for the first column. So let's edit this element and let's set the link to the primers using the dynamic data feature. If you don't know what dynamic data are and how to use them, I encourage you to watch tutorial which for, I will leave you the link in the left top corner as well, so you can better understand how it works and what you can achieve using them as it's truly powerful feature. Let's now make necessary adjustments for the second and third column. So for the second column, I would like to change the title first. This one, I would like to be the coatings. And now let's edit the elements inside the second column as I would like to loop in this column products from the coatings category. And let's do the same thing for the show products as I did for the first column, but this time set the link for coatings. Let's now move to the third column. And here, instead of the primers, I would like the title to be uh, the blockers. And let's also edit the query loop for the third column, as here I would like to loop the products from the blockers category. And also, let's change the link for the show products for the third column, so it will be linked to the blockers products. Let's now update the mega menu template. And because I didn't assign this mega menu yet already to my menu item I created at the beginning, I have to go to appearance menus and edit my menu I already created. And here for the mega menu drop down list, I have to select my mega menu template I just created. Let's save the menu and now we can switch the front end to see how it looks like. As you can see, after hovering our store menu item, the mega menu now displays, presenting exactly what we created in the backend already. So we have three columns with products. The first one is primer, second coatings, and the third is blockers. Okay, so let's create the last wrap, which will be on the right side with the background image and some content inside. Let's edit this wrap now. And I would like it to be the minimum high of 400 pixels. Let's also set some spacing for this wrap, like the padding and margin. And now let's go to the positioning tab. Let's make it stretch and center. Let's now switch to the background tab and let's set the background image, which is gonna be a kind of car. And here I'm going to change some settings like repeat to no repeat, position to to custom and the size I would like to be covered. Let's now switch to the border tab and set the border radius to look this wrap a bit nicer as I already have the background image here. Let's now add the heading, which I would like to be the H3, 
it will be named read about covering methods. Or maybe I would like it to be H4. And let's switch now to the spacing tab, as I would like to set some spacing as well. Now let's add the plain text, which is going to be just lorem ipsum, and let's set the content to kind of blue. So the last thing I would like to add is the button, so let's drag and drop the button element. I want to make it full width and highlight it. Let's set the title to our blog, for example. Also, let's set the icon for this button and make it positioned to right. As I would like this button to link to the blog page, I will set the link to the blog page from the list of dynamic data. Okay, so let's now update our template for Mega Menu and let's see in the front end how it looks like. Perfect. It looks nearly the way I would like it to be. There is just one thing left as right now Mega Menu overlap the header a bit. So let's get back to the Mega Menu template and under Mega Menu settings, there is an option named Design where we can set the padding and in this case I would like it to be 20 pixels. So let's make it 20 pixels, let's update it. And as you can see right now, our Mega Menu no longer overlap the header and looks exactly the way I wanted it to be. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you liked this video and I shed some light on B-Builder features that may improve your workflow. If you like this video, I encourage you to watch another video where I explain one of the most powerful beefing features, templates. And as always, thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time you release a new video. And if you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.